The year was 1887. Two young brothers stepped off the train in Detroit, Michigan, with little more than the clothes on their backs and a shared dream of building something great. Their names were Horace and John Dodge. Though they arrived penniless, the brothers were not deterred. They were determined to make a name for themselves in the burgeoning automobile industry. A few years later, they're operating one of the biggest machine shops in the city, working for the man who would forever shape the future of the automotive industry, Henry Ford. What many people don't know is that the Dodge brothers were really the ones who helped make the Ford Motor Company into a massive success. They built almost every major component for early Ford vehicles, from the chassis to the engine and transmission. Without them, the legendary Model T wouldn't exist, and Ford Motor Company would not be what it is today. Yet despite their legendary achievements, the Dodge brothers remained obscure figures, their legacies hidden in the massive shadow of Henry Ford. Their partnership with Ford would later turn into a rivalry when the brothers decided to open their own car company and join the competition in the automobile market, at one point rising to become the second best-selling car company in the US behind none other than their business-turned-rival. However, this is where the brothers' luck fell apart, leaving behind a legacy that few recognize despite their name adorning millions of automobiles around the world. This is the tragic story of the Dodge brothers. In the 1860s, John and Horace Dodge were born and raised in the small town of Niles, Michigan, where their father ran a machine shop with his two brothers, building and maintaining boat engines. Growing up poor, the brothers were taught to work hard and never complain. According to Horace, in those days, we were the poorest kids in town. When cold weather came, John and I were obliged to go barefooted and wear ragged clothes. We didn't grumble, but tried to make mother think it was all right. This humble beginning brought the brothers together as partners rather than set them apart as rivals. Despite their age difference, they shared the same strong work ethic and took any job to support their family. However, financial troubles forced the Dodgers to relocate several times, eventually settling in Detroit. As teenagers, John and Horace worked alongside their father, mastering their trade as skilled machinists. But John wasn't satisfied in Port Huron and left for Detroit at 21 with just 50 cents in his pocket. He got a job at an ironworks making $16.5 a week. A year later, Horace joined him, earning $13.5 a week. Although they enjoyed their jobs, John developed tuberculosis, unable to work for months. To recover, he drank large quantities of medicine containing alcohol, increasing his dependency. Horace took a second job to support them both. Once recovered, the brothers found safer, cleaner work to protect their health. This led them to the Dominion Typology Company in Canada, where they learned precision tooling while building typesetting machines. During this time, Horace invented a bicycle ball bearing, and the brothers started a successful bicycle company. In 1900, John and Horace returned to Detroit, opening the Dodge Brothers machine shop with advanced equipment and 12 employees. In just months, their reputation for quality work spread, though small customers often fell behind on payments. Things changed when Ransom E. Olds, founder of Olds Motorworks, contracted the Dodges to build engines and transmissions for his curved dash automobile, the first gas-powered car built in quantity. When Henry Ford sought help building his third car company, he was so impressed with the brothers that he contracted them over Olds. Though risky, the Dodges acquired 10% of Ford's company in lieu of payment, earning massive dividends as Ford skyrocketed to success. For 11 years, the brothers built almost every part for Ford vehicles, growing to over 5,000 employees. They became extremely wealthy, though Detroit elite shunned them for their uncouth behavior. The brothers forced their way into high society circles despite disdain. By 1914, the brothers had grown weary of Ford's arrogance. They launched their own car company, Dodge Brothers Motor Company, debuting high-quality vehicles that quickly captured the number three US sales spot. Enraged that his own dividends funded the rival company, Ford stopped payments, tried to starve them out, then finally paid $25 million to buy back their shares in 1919. Despite Ford's efforts, Dodge thrived. Their dependable cars earned a reputation for toughness, even becoming the first US military vehicles. By 1920, Dodge was number two in sales behind Ford. Tragedy struck that year when both brothers died of influenza within months of each other. Their widows inherited the business but sold it in 1925. Dodge struggled until purchased by Walter Chrysler in 1928, leading to decades of mass market success. 
The Dodge brothers helped launch the American automotive industry, then died young, leaving behind a legacy few recognize today. Their talents built an empire, though they remain obscure figures, remembered only by the name on their cars. This is the tragic story of the Dodge brothers.